calls of a woman from North London who's been jailed for planning to go to Syria to fight against a uh, so-called Islamic State. Siham Ozchelik was given 21 months for plotting to join the Kurdish PKK, which is designated as a terrorist organisation by the government. Her friends and family are appealing against her sentence. Our senior correspondent Franke Phillips reports. Shalan Ozchelik protesting against ISIS in London. A court convicted her of trying to put words into action by planning to travel to Syria to join the banned Kurdish PKK in their fight against ISIS. After visiting the scene of the Paris attacks, the Prime Minister vowed to take on the same militants. President Hollande and I have discussed how we can further strengthen the counter-terrorism cooperation between our two countries and work together to defeat ISIL in Iraq and Syria. Shanan supporters argue she ran away to join a group with the same aim and has been jailed. With the government trying to get support for launching you know, attacks on ISIS, this is really not the time to be prosecuting a young girl um, whose intention was to go and fight ISIS. It sends out completely the wrong message. The teenager's friends, who are now calling for her 21-month sentence to be overturned, are being supported by the mayor, who commented on the case during a visit to a construction site. My sympathies are very much with the PKK and the Peshmerga, and I, I hope that the, uh, the legal system will reflect that and that uh, she gets uh, the, the, you know, the treatment, uh, sensible treatment, rather than some absurd punishment. The 18-year-old found herself on the wrong side of the law after she took the Eurostar to Brussels last August leaving letters and a video saying she wanted to join the female wing of the Kurdish militia. Concerned for her safety, her family contacted authorities asking for help to bring her home, but instead found her being pursued with criminal charges. We know that um, there have been young people travelling from the UK to fight for the ISIS and have returned back to the UK but they haven't been treated um, in the same way that Shalan has been treated because she wanted to fight against ISIS. During the trial, Shalan argued she only ran away to avoid an arranged marriage, and her defence team is now waiting to hear if she'll be granted an appeal. Ronke Phillips, ITV News.